Now, when it comes to finding a good way of sniffing out deadly IEDs in Afghanistan, just ask Jono. The Australian handler and his trusted canine companion, Laika, not only protect the ISAF headquarters in Kabul, but also troops out on patrol, where explosive detection dogs are a vital aid to survival. My name's Brendan Johnson. Uh, I'm an explosive detection dog handler here with uh, Vigilant Canine Services International. Uh, basically, our role here at ISAF is to provide base security in the EDD form, uh, work hand in hand with uh, force protection to uh, stop any bad people getting bad stuff in. The prerequisite for any of these dogs is that they've got to be fanatical bull chasers. That's the that's the only reward they get off on, and that it comes from their prey drive. Basically, what we try to do is gather intel of what's actually happening in Afghanistan itself, the threat levels, what they're using, and we'll try to set the scenario up to represent the current threat level. So we'll go in, we're doing a route search, you know, it's going to be a roadside uh, IED or something like that. Once the dog's going in indication on the, on the um, suspect item, we will withdraw, and that's when hand search will come in. They'll set up their cordons and they'll go through basically their SOPs. Hello, McDonald's. Stay with the dog handler. Go Lanson. Bill out. For the initial intake, between one and two, um, high, again, high drive, high ball drive. Um, if they successfully complete through the different stages of training, they'll be uh, they'll go into service probably about five years after they've completed their training and that. And once they reach about the you know, ripe old age of eight, they're uh, farmed out to expats or the handler has the first choice to take them all the way home.